Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has said that French company Dassault Aviation will soon be manufacturing Rafale fighter jets at Dassault Alliance Aviation Limited. Indian Navy's INSV Sakapatnam destroyer responded to a distress call from the merchant vessel Merlin Luanda and provided assistance to firefighting efforts on board the distressed vessel that was caused due to an anti ship ballistic missile attack by Iranian backed Houthi terrorists. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will witness twin carrier operations on board INS Week Grant during the top naval commanders conference in March between Kochi and Goa. India's second aircraft carrier INS Vikrant came out of maintenance refit at Cochin Shipyard on 26 January and is slated to participate in 50 Nation Milan exercise next month. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will inaugurate the first MH-60 R squadron of multi-role helicopters in Cochin in March. French defence firm Thales is planning to set up an avionics MRO facility in Delhi. India's Akashia Air has announced an agreement to purchase more than 300 CFM Leap 1B engines to power the 150 Boeing 737 MAX airplanes ordered last week. China, South Korea, Turkey and Japan have taken the lead in the fifth-generation fighter jet race, and France, UK, US and even Turkey have announced sixth-generation fighter programs, while India still remains passive. Defence experts have said that India is also relying on other countries to define the technology and capabilities of sixth-generation aircraft, rather than actively shaping its vision. The Indian Air Force seems unfazed, even when its arch-rival Pakistan has announced induction of J-31 fifth-generation aircraft by 2028. Experts also said that India must fast-track the AMCA program by prioritizing resources and must collaborate with international partners to expedite the AMCA's entry into service, otherwise the Air Force risks losing air superiority if it doesn't wake up and takes the initiative. At a time when the Indian Army is set to receive its first batch of Arjun Mark 1A tanks in the coming months, the RDO's heavy vehicles factory is redesigning the hull and turret structures using lighter yet high-strength materials for the Arjun Mark 2, that will result in a weight reduction of over 3 tons compared to the Mark 1A. The Arjun Mark 2 is being specifically designed to address the threats posed by kamikaze drones and modern anti-tank guided missiles. The Army might place an order for the Mark II variant by 2027, when the Mark I-A deliveries will be completed. Indian firm Kaman Drones has showcased its Saxion drone to Panther Division of Indian Army's Western Command. It has a range of 60 km, a true endurance of 3 hours, a speed of 30 m per second, and can operate in a broad operational temperature range of minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Saxion has effective waterproofing, and is equipped with corrosion-free motors, ensuring long-term durability and reliability even in challenging environments. Japanese Defence Ministry's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency delegation visited India last week, and they explored potential avenues for collaboration in the development of undersea defence platforms. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has expressed keen interest in Japan's advanced technologies in the field of unmanned ground vehicles and robotics, that could provide India with access to cutting-edge robotics solutions for underwater applications. Today's Top 3 Comments